the Ace of Cups. What's not to love about the Ace of Cups? Before I started um, my tarot business, I did a lot of readings, as you can probably imagine, to um, decide what the outcome would be and if it was worth it. And the card that kept coming up was the Ace of Cups. Now, I have to be honest and say on some level, I'd rather have seen the Ace of Pentacles. But now, about three years into um, my tarot and shaman business, the Ace of Cups is definitely the card to represent my business. I feel fulfilled. I feel happier. I feel loved. Um, I feel connected to source and I feel that everything I give I receive more back and that is the Ace of Cups. Key in readings, yes, I mean great love card if you've asked about relationships, if you've asked about pregnancy it can be a key, key indicator that I'd want to see <clears throat> Excuse me, other cards um, alongside it, perhaps the Ace of Swords or Ace of Wands, the Empress queen of um, pentacles something like that but it, it can be a clear indicator of pregnancy to me it's a clear indicator that someone's on their soul path <coughs> excuse me that whatever they're doing is good and right the only negative side really is so much water in a reading i would be looking to see that this is grounded by other elements if we look at the Rider Waite deck, um, it is a fantastically constructed deck because it has links to so many of the world religions. So to me, the Ace of Cups definitely reflects unconditional, universal love. We have the Dove, which is clearly um, a Christian symbol to represent the Holy Spirit. These little water droplets here, they are Yods, they are a, a Jewish blessing. We have the water lily or the lotus down here, which um, is going to be a Buddhist or a Hindu symbol. To me, the cup represents the grail, the holy grail, and is a pagan symbol. If you're wondering what the W is there, my best um, understanding of this is that you read the, the W from the viewpoint of the dove, which makes it an M. Now, whether you think that refers to um, Mary the mother of Christ or whether you think as I do that that refers to Mary Magdalene who I believe to be the wife of Christ is really up to you but this cup I think this cup represents me or you or whoever you're reading for and one key part about this cup is that the water flows out of it and I don't think we can give anything to anyone else whether that's inspiration, guidance or love until we love ourselves first. Self-love has to be the basis of just about everything. In the Morgan Greer deck we can see that the image is very very similar to the Rider Waite deck. I really I love the colours of this, I love the imagery on this. Um, it's an incredibly positive card. If you're doing a reading for yourself and you get the Ace of Cups and you don't feel that you have much love in your life, start with self-love. Nurture yourself, do small things just to make yourself feel better. If you're getting the Ace of Cups and you've asked about anything, fair enough, it doesn't actually reflect money. But it does reflect self-worth, self-love, joy. Um, and abundance really. So I would say this is a really beautiful card, a really positive card and I mean the Drew Druidcraft deck is just stunning but actually I really like the simple symbolism in the Rider Waite deck too.